Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and here today we have two more Cybermen. We have the Dark Dimensions Cyberman drone and Cyber Leader. Now these, I have to admit, taking a little bit of creative license with these because um, there's not that many pictures of them and the few that there are there's only maybe one that's very clear, and even then it's not a full picture. There are still some elements which are unknown, especially the feet. So I've had to take a little bit of artistic license there. But essentially what I've done here is I have taken the Axon body, which has obviously recently been used in the Senserite and the Vord as well, but I've used specifically the Axon one. And then everything else you see on top of it is sculpted. Um, it was a lot of work, um, you know, a lot of time has gone into doing these, but I think they've come out very well. Um, the boots themselves are actually castings I made of a Tomb uh, Cyber Controller, because initially when I finished these I just had the standard uh, sort of flat feet, as it were, of the Axons, and these Cybermen stood really short and they're actually obviously meant to be quite tall and imposing so the reason I swapped the boots over again was just to give them that little bit of extra height I think it looks quite you know it looks quite good it's sort of I feel like it fits in with the sort of shoulder padded look that they have um, the only other things that I've changed on these in terms of swapping over other new parts is the hands are actually from the series 3 Scarecrow figures again just because they had a bit more of a claw look to them um, You know rather than a standard hand it was the best ones to use But it's the heads that I'm most proud of or I should say head because it actually is a case that the uh, Drone which you see coming around on the right now is the original head and then the Leader is a casting I have made and essentially what this started out life as was a skull from a uh, Sherlock figure, which I put onto a sort of, uh, uh, I sculpted a neck base onto the original Axon figure, and then I super glued the skull on top, and then I just went around filling it out and changing bits on it. And it again is not perfect, but as they have a sort of very skull look to them it was sort of the you know the the best that i could do with with the design that i had but i think it has come out very well and i am very pleased with it and of course as i said i made a casting of it so i'm pleased to say that castings you can see here uh, of my um dark dimensions cyberman head will be up for sale on my ebay shop either uh when you see this or very soon after you see this or in the new year as this is video is originally going out for part of my uh, Christmas special. The only thing that I haven't got on the sculpted head is the handles, but the handles themselves are actually just the simple um, like cable ties that you would get in a, uh, a normal figure. So I'm sure many people have tons of those lying about. If you don't, you'll probably have many in future as more figures come out, and I'm pretty sure you can find them online. So, you know, it's, it, the handles are going to be sort of quite... Uh, quite easy to do on that front but I'm really pleased with how these have come out even if I have had to take a little artistic license with them the actual sort of design of these Cyberman is so iconic and unique that I think it is one that I'm definitely uh, proud to have in my collection and even though Dark Dimension doesn't uh, is debatably canon as it was never made it is worth pointing out for those that don't know uh, these Cybermen as the title suggests, actually uh, appeal, the title may suggest, because I don't know if I'm going to put this bit in the title or not, but more specifically the Cyber Leader, I should say, does appear in the comic Supremacy of the Cybermen, which in itself is a little bit of a sort of um, uh, alternate continuity, but it does sort of imply that these Cybermen have existed at some point, and so... Uh, you know, to me, these Cybermen are canon, it's just that we've never seen them. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a nice one to have, but it's certainly a, you know, a nice, uh, a nice figure to do, and it is a really fun one to make. It's a great one for practicing at sculpting, even if it does take uh, time to get it all right, but it is definitely one that I would highly recommend doing if you're up for the challenge. But that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot, and be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation, and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.